Hello dear students, today we are going to see lesson number 8, pronouns. What are pronouns? What do we know about the pronouns? We have already seen in the earlier classes, still we are going to talk about the pronouns. Pronouns are what? Pronouns are the words used in place of nouns. So why do we use this pronouns? In order to avoid the repetitions. In order to saying the same thing again and again, which okay becomes monotonous at a time, to avoid those things, we use the pronouns. So it is one of the eight parts of speech. Remember this. Now let us talk about the types of pronouns. How many types of pronouns are there? Let's see them. The first one is personal pronoun. Next one is demonstrative. Third one is interrogative. Fourth one is reflexive. And the next one is emphasizing. Then possessive pronouns, distributive, indefinite and relative pronouns. So these are the various types of pronouns that we have. And now what are we going to do is we'll be seeing one after the other with the examples and try to do the exercises which are there. First one is personal pronouns. This personal pronouns stands for person or things. The first, okay, let's see the first one. First person pronouns I, we, me and us. Second person pronouns are you. And third person pronouns are he, she, it, they, him, her and them. So these are the examples of the personal pronouns. Now let us talk about the exercise page number 66. Fill in the blanks with the suitable pronouns. First one is my name is Umi. I am an Assamese and this is my family. My mother's name is Anju. She is from north of Assam. My father's name is Baichand. He has a watch repairing shop. On the left you can see Siraj. He is my brother. We are twins. So this way kindly complete these blanks. Hope you will have no difficulties in completing this. Let us move on to the next one. Interrogative pronouns. What are interrogative pronouns? Let's see them. Interrogative pronouns are words which are or which ask questions. Interrogative we all know. Interrogative means to ask questions. So there are some pronouns just like what, which, who, whose, whom. These are certain pronouns okay, used to ask questions. In addition, these pronouns may take suffixes like ever and so ever, like whatever, whatsoever. For example, let's see. First one is whom do you want to speak to? Which is your camera? Which is this book? So these are a few examples of the interrogative pronouns. Now let's see the exercise. Fill in the blanks with which, what, who or whose. The first one. Who is waiting at the car? Who is waiting in the car? Next one is whose is the back lying on the floor? Whose is the back lying on the floor? Next one is whom do we speak to for new admission? What do you think about the painting? There are so many bottles on the table. Which is yours? So these are various okay, examples as well as the exercises okay, uh, which are there at question number B. I have just told you. Let's talk about the reflexive and emphasizing pronouns. Both these types have the same form. That means... Like I also, like uh, reflexive and emphasizing are same pronouns. Okay, same pronouns are used in both the cases. Let's talk about the first one. So I, myself, you become yourselves, you yourself, he himself, she becomes herself, it itself, we becomes ourself. And the last one is they become themselves. Let's talk about the reflexive pronouns right now. What are reflexive pronouns? It says reflexive pronouns are words which are used when the subject and the object are the same. So it says reflexive pronouns are used at the time when the subject and the object are same. Just like the examples it says 
I got myself a new bag. He hurt himself while climbing the down, climbing down the tree. So, just remember, whenever we talk about reflexive pronouns, it says when the action of the subject or when the action of the verb turns back onto the subject. Just remember, when the action of the maybe of the verb just turns back to the subject only, we call it reflexive pronouns. In other way, we can say it subject is acting upon itself only, either literally or figuratively. Just remember, subject is acting upon itself only. Enough to remember this. Let's move on to emphasizing pronouns. What are emphasizing pronouns? Let's see. It says emphasizing pronouns are, are used when we want to emphasize the subject. So when we want to emphasize, when we want to talk or give stress or to the importance to the sayings, no, that is the time we use the emphasizing pronouns. The first one, let's see the examples. Rani Lakshmi Bai led the army herself. So she herself has led the army. The culprits themselves confessed to the crime. So what did the culprits do? They themselves, it is not that they are forced, but then they themselves confessed to the crime. So these were few things about the reflexive and emphasizing pronouns. Let's look at the other side, page number 67. There we have an exercise. Okay, fill in the blanks with a suitable reflexive or emphatic pronouns. Let's see the first one. Father decided to repair the car by herself, isn't it? By himself. So, father decided to repair the car by himself. The girl looked at das in the mirror. So the girl looked at herself in the mirror. So this is how you will just try to do this one. Okay. Uh, try to fill up the blanks with the reflexive and emphatic pronouns only. Let's talk about the possessive pronouns. We use the possessive pronouns when we want to talk or when we want to use a word in place of Possessive nouns. So possessive pronouns are used in place of possessive nouns. Just remember, there is nothing different. So, okay, just like okay, we have okay seen in the noun and pronoun here also the same things. So what do we do when we use okay when we use the possessive pronouns? When we want to use a word in place of possessive nouns only. So possessive pronouns will replace the possessive nouns. Let's see, for example, this is Joe's umbrella. So this is his. I will give you my purse. I'll give you mine. Now let's talk uh, further about this one. Possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives, which is given at page number 62. Look at these sentences. The blue kite is, the blue kite is your kite. The blue kite is yours. So, you okay, can look at the difference here. The blue kite is your kite and the blue kite is yours. Let's okay try to like analyze these two sentences and uh, find out the difference in these. In the first sentence, what do we see? The word your is followed by the noun kite. Hence, it is a possessive adjective. So, the word your is followed with what? Followed with a noun. So, it is a possessive adjective. Whereas in the second sentence, the word yours is not followed by any noun and stands for the words, okay, your kite, hence it is a, it is what? It is a possessive pronoun. So these are a few like uh, things that we need to keep in mind. Let's move on to the other page number 68. We'll talk about uh, The exercises which is given at here circle that uh, circle the word that best complete each of the sentences so options are there out of these options okay whichever options is best in that okay you are going to write so we will be seeing after here only and in the next video okay we'll uh, we'll continue 
indefinite pronouns then relative pronouns and uh, the other exercises which are there hope it is clear in case of any difficulties or the problems kindly let me know thank you so much